This is going to be a quick video to show you how to use masks in a Affinity Photo. Masks will hide or show a part of a layer. This, if you look down here and you see something that looks kind of like a camera icon, if you click on that, you'll notice that it puts a mask right there. And if you have it set on black up here, or if you have your setup like mine over here on black, and you select your paintbrush, and you go over it, it's going to remove. It's going to, it's going to remove some there. And if you switch it back to white, and you paint back over what you just removed, it's going to replace whatever was there. You see that, right? When you select your paintbrush, you may want to have a bigger or a smaller radius on it. So you can do that up here with the width. And we'll switch back to black here. You notice here, we got that. And if you notice, if you turn your mask off, it goes back to the original. So you didn't do anything to your original here. Now let's look at some things for just in case it's not working for you. This has happened to me in the past. So if it's not working for you, make sure up here your blend mode is set to normal. You have different settings. So make sure it's set to normal. And you want to make sure Protect Alpha is unchecked. Now Protect Alpha should be up here on the bigger screens, but if you have a smaller screen like mine on this laptop, do your little drop, drop down here. Make sure that is unchecked. And one thing I've done in the past is I select Remove Brush Tool instead of the Brush Tool. So you want to make sure you had the Paint Brush Tool and not the Remove Brush Tool. That ought to be obvious, but it wasn't to me one time. So if it's not working, look at those three things. Now, let's go ahead and we can delete this mask here. And, and let's look at what we can do if you... Uh, select an adjustment because all your adjustment layers automatically put a mask on so I'm just going to select one here adjustment layer and we're going to do this recolor and it just automatically turns it to red now let me go your hardness on your brush is probably set around 80 percent default so we're going I'm going to put it right around there where yours probably is just to show you something about the hardness of these brushes and right now we're at 62 pixels and I know that's small for what I want to show here, so I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to, to about 140. I'm going to go ahead and show this rock as it was shown before I put the mask on. So it brings that rock back, right? We can turn that off and see what the original rock color was. So we brought that rock back, but if you notice here, I just did a little too much. Let's we'll make it real big, exaggerate. Let's say I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and lower this back down. Zoom into this a little bit. And I'm going to switch it back to uh, white. And we're going to paint back in that red. And you'll notice it's got a pretty hard edge there whenever I'm painting back in the red, right? So let's look at what happens when I soften this edge. Let's say we run it down to zero. So I'm control Z out of that. If we run it down to zero, let's go ahead and just raise up this a little bit. It's going to blend it in. It's going to blend in the blend it in just a little bit. It's going to make it a little bit easier. Yeah, I'm on a using a touchpad, so I'm all over the place. But it softens that edge. It blends it in some. We'll switch this back. Try and take this red back out. Blending it in a little bit. So, so that's what you can do with masks. Now, if this has helped you, how about leaving a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and you have a good day.